Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another meal prep slash batch cooking video. This is a easy peasy meal prep, something that anybody can do. I didn't have much time, so this is almost kind of like a power hour meal prep. And this meal prep, I started it the night before because there were some things that I cooked in the crock pot, stuff like that, and then I finished it the next day. So this is kind of a two day type meal prep, but let's get in the kitchen and let's get started. All right, like always, we are gonna start out with breakfast. So I'm gonna keep it simple. We are gonna take some eggs, some of that cheese, we're going to be using that turkey sausage. That turkey sausage is super easy peasy. It's already cooked, crumbled up. The macros are, I mean, it's turkey sausage, so it's going to be less fat. Uh, the ingredients are clean, but I'm just going to take one tablespoon of that Kerrygold grass-fed butter, coat the entire bottom of that pan, and then I believe I used like eight eggs. And then I used about half that pack of turkey sausage, and then I just scrambled all that together. And then I went ahead and went in with some seasonings. I kept the seasonings simple. I just added a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Super easy peasy. Definitely has tons of protein that you need. It has the fat in there from the butter and the cheese i added that was around a half a cup of cheese and again just stirred it up mixed it up scrambled it up and that is such an amazing protein powerhouse meal for before work or taking it to work or whatever i always make breakfast for oscar so that way he has something nutritious and full of protein for when he has to go to work then I've had some of you guys ask, this is four servings, so I separate it into four different containers and he can just grab and go before he goes to work. Super easy peasy. Next up, we are going to be making another super simple dish. I am just gonna throw some chicken in the crock pot, add about a half a cup of water, all of those seasonings, so it's all those yummy seasonings that we are going to throw together. I will have this in the description box below, but I just added around six chicken breasts to the crock pot, as well as that water. And then I just went in with all those seasonings. It was so delicious. And I don't really measure, I just kind of eyeball, but I am very generous with my seasonings because seasonings is really what's going to give your food flavor. I know I say that all the time, but it really is the truth. Again, I will leave all of the ingredients or the seasonings that I put on this chicken down in the description box below and you just do it to taste you know and remember some seasonings are a little bit spicier than others such as cayenne stuff like that so like i said i create meals for myself and my family so you really need to just do the seasonings to how your family would enjoy it but i just put that on low because i made that the night before so the next morning it was completely done and I just went ahead and took my little meat masher and that's how I shredded up the chicken. It worked actually perfectly. I've done that before and if you guys don't have one of those little things, they are very handy. <laughs> so this chicken was moist, delicious, and a huge, huge hit in my family. Definitely give this a try. We actually made cheese shells for tacos and we had chicken tacos. It was so, so good. Next up, we are going to be marinating some steak and some chicken. So I like to use different marinades all the time. So every marinade that you see on my channel may be different from the last time that you saw it. I just like to experiment with different flavors. This one I'm keeping pretty darn simple though, but the steak I am actually putting, that was probably around a half a cup of olive oil and then a very, very generous amount of Worcestershire sauce. Again, a very generous amount of that Bra Bragg's liquid aminos. Again, be very generous. Again, be generous with the seasonings as well. So I'm going in with some salt and some pepper. 
and that's it keeping it simple but yet it's gonna be so delicious just give that a nice good massage and definitely get all those flavors incorporated into the steak once you massage that in if you have to give it a shake 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 but we are going to end up putting that in the fridge and we are going to let that set overnight to really really get those flavors incorporated amongst each other next up we're going to marinate some chicken so again i just put around a half a cup of olive oil and then i just took a couple of lemons and squeezed the lemon juice in the chicken um you can do as many lemons as you want i just took a couple and then I also went ahead and added in some seasoning. So again, just some salt and pepper, kept it simple. And again, you just want to massage that in, shake it up, get those flavors a going. And I refrigerated both of those overnight. So that is actually the next day. And I already fired up my grill, had it ready to go because we are just gonna grill these. That is the easiest way to go because then you're not dirty in your kitchen and heating up your house. So that's how I ended up cooking these and it was actually a nice day that day. So I was enjoying the grill that day, but you just grill those stinkers up and that's just something easy to have during the week. And if you're not a microwave person, it's not a big deal. You could heat those up in the air fryer if you have one. You could even just heat them up in a pan. Either way, it's going to be delicious, especially if you undercook them a little bit, which I did not because here lately, I don't know what my deal is with the grill, but I've been overcooking the steaks. So either way, it was delicious. They got eaten. Trust me, in my house, it doesn't take long for things to get eaten. Holy moly. My kids will be like, didn't you just meal prep? And I'm like, yes, I did, but it's gone. <laughs> So next up, we are going to be doing some side dishes. That is just some green beans that I got at Costco, and I am just going to put them in some foil. I did spray the foil so that way they didn't stick. They are frozen. I'm putting them on that foil frozen. I'm telling you, we are keeping this easy peasy. That is probably a little over a tablespoon of butter because butter is delicious on vegetables. And then I'm also going to add some garlic salt to that and again I was pretty generous with it and this is just something nice you guys because you're not again you're just not dirtying the dishes you don't have a big old mess in the kitchen to clean from meal prepping because you literally cook everything on the foil or on the grill and once you're done you can take it out of the foil and throw the foil away but I just cooked those and then I'll show you what's in those little packets here in just a second. But I just cooked those around 10 minutes on each side and they came out perfect. They looked so good and they tasted even better. Again, I just store them in a container. I don't put them in little containers. I just store them in containers and people can take out what they want. But next up, we are going to be making some Spanish rice, but we are doing it on the grill. I've made this before on my meal prep and everybody loved this recipe. This recipe will be in the description box below, but I am going to microwave those. That is just some cauliflower rice that I got at um, Sam's Club and Costco. I put them in for around six minutes. They weren't quite all the way done, which is totally fine because they will finish on the grill. We are gonna be adding some olive oil, salt, chili powder and cumin as well as a little bit of salsa and then I didn't have it out because I did it last minute but we did add some garlic as well and that was around a half a cup of salsa and I just added a little bit of olive oil just to give it a little bit more flavor and then the salt I don't measure um, but the cumin I do so I added in one tablespoon of cumin two tablespoons of chili powder so however much cumin you put in there double the chili powder mixed it up and then put it all in those little foil packets my daughter thought it was a little bit spicy so if you want to back off on the cumin and the chili powder a little bit you can totally do that i thought it was delicious but she was like eh, it's really good but it's a little bit spicy so once they were done on the grill that's how they came out they were delicious and again you're not messing up the kitchen i just put them all 
I just put all of the cauliflower rice in containers. People can dig it out as they wish. Easy peasy. All right, so that is gonna conclude this week's meal prep. Super simple, easy peasy. Don't always worry about making these massive, huge meal preps with all these fancy recipes. I mean, do whatever your time allows. Don't think that you got to make all this fancy stuff to eat good. You can keep it simple and still eat good. If you decide to try any of these recipes or just tag me on Instagram, let me know what you're making. I will leave my Instagram handle down in the description box below. Like always, I am praying for you, your family, and your country. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. On my own, but I don't know why. You hit the road, but you don't realize. I'm on the back when you're around. I won't think twice when you're around.